Not so long ago, gaming on Linux was almost impossible. Your only alternative would be Windows. And you know, with Windows, it comes with a lot of like little perks, like uh, Candy Crush Saga installed on your uh, hard drive right away after uh, installing Windows 10, for example. Or, you know, like having to deploy from time to time with a whole like Windows install with like specific like third party software. Y you don't even know what you are running, but. Or just enjoy a surprise update that will kill like all your sound settings. Hey, I, I know you there, content creator. When you, you start recording, you're like, darn, I don't have sound anymore. How surprising, huh? Uh, thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you just bought a Microsoft like Windows license to just have to tweak it to make sure like your own computer is not sending data all across internet. I, I'm just saying. But... What if I told you there is an alternative right now? Like a reliable and serious alternative. What if I told you that I've been running Linux on a daily basis on my main PC for the last 12 months? I've been playing game, creating content, and also do all the office stuff, you know? We all do. Was it easy? Uh... <laughs> Was it worth it? OMG it was. It was definitely worth it. In this video, I will share with you the most important learning I gathered during this last year. Are you ready? Let's go. First thing you really need to understand is that Linux desktop is totally different from any other operating system you ever try. You need to start fresh when you try Linux. If you don't do that, you're going to be disappointed. You need to come with a state of mind which is totally different from what you have learned on Windows or what you have learned managing headless Linux server. There is definitively like some, I would say, like skill you're going to be able to share from one platform to another. But please don't think that because you do X, you should expect Y because it's working like that on Windows or somewhere else. Don't be scared by it and stay open-minded when it comes to understand how everything works together. You are going to fail, but it is worth it, believe me. Okay, this is the most important learning I think I want to share with you before you even try Linux. So the second point, is that you're gonna have to invest a lot of time in it. Everything comes at a price of you learning. I understand this is not for everybody. Nobody is gonna judge you if, if you don't like it. I won't, okay? The purpose of this video is not to convert you guys to Linux. That's, that's not my point at all. I just wanna show to everyone like there is an alternative to what already exists. And I wanna prevent you guys to kind of like burn out when you try it and you're like, oh, it doesn't work. Of course, it doesn't work, right? The, the learning curve is going to be steep and you might have to learn a lot before finally enjoying it. And I, I want you to be aware of that. The good news is that all the information is available for free for you. It's on internet. First place you want to go and search is the Arch Wiki. In my opinion, that's, that's the number one place to go. If you have a problem, you go there, you search. You find, you solve. Another one is like uh, the community forum of the distro uh, you, you choose to install. Uh, I know, for example, I'm using Endeavor OS. They have a really good like forum. And sometimes like some issues are specific to the distro itself. And it's a good place to go and see if someone else has the issue. Another place where you can find incredible information are YouTube videos. So obviously, if you are watching this video, you know I can help you. Um, I have one of my best performing video ever, which is a, a tutorial to improve like Linux gaming, especially uh, Apex. It's, it's just awesome. You go there, you watch the video, you gather all the information from the video, you apply them and boom, it works. I'm one of the creators. There is many other creators out there who are going to help you to, to run like whatever you want on Linux. YouTube is a great source. Another like big misunderstanding, I believe, is like you need to interact with the community to gather your information. It, it's plainly wrong. If you want to learn fast, 
just try to find it by yourself uh, you don't need to interact with anybody you don't need to ask anybody obviously if you find someone who is willing to help you why not but i think the key point here is like you need to learn how to search on your own because everything is there i think for the last 12 months i never asked anything and i just learned on my own and i'm seeing that because sometimes like you might ask and you might have like someone toxic in front of you or you might have just someone who is busy and doesn't want to spend time explaining you how it works and your first like reaction would be like to be upset and thinking that the community aspect did, does not exist but the community already made the work and created all those wiki all those tutorial for you not having to ask and for them to create more tutorial because if you do like j just to understand the perspective of someone else like trying to help you it's way more efficient to create like one big like wiki for example or a big youtube video where you explain like how to solve a specific problem rather than explaining it like 200 times to 200 people and i think like from a user experience like a newbie experience most of people they don't understand that and also sometimes like community member can be toxic too but it's another problem but let's say you you fall like with someone who was fairly like willing to help you but doesn't have time to do so well everything is on internet and i, I want to make this point really clear just just go there and learn how to search another point is like your learnings you gathered you're going to be able to apply them like horizontally on all the linux platform right like whatever distro you use or whatever like i would say like i will use like this metaphor like horizontally like use your learning so the time you spend is not lost it, it is not uh yeah, there is many video on youtube like explaining like you you are willing to you know like give up some some time for learning on on linux and this time is is wasted this, this is plainly false because if later in the day you want to stay on linux you will go like way way faster i'm 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 seeing that like straight to your face you're gonna get faster it's just going to take more time to get there versus like windows point number three or three as you do here in, in north america really important linux is way better than i ever thought it's not perfect don't get me wrong but i never dream about something that good using this operating system it's gonna give you a totally like new perspective on using a pc it's more like open source like in general it's going to give you a different like perspective about using software but when you're thinking about operating system i'm thinking about linux it's 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 just mind-blowing when you get really into it you have total control on your hardware there is zero blot so bye bye candy crush saga <laughs> i'm out you have the feeling like you control your hardware to the next level this is this is actually incredible and the fact that now you become to this community which is pretty f like fairly small right now but it's growing by by the day it's just awesome and when i say like contributing like you're gonna be thinking like hey i'm not a coder i'm not like any of those guys who know how to program how am i gonna be able to contribute well guess what I i'm not a coder either I'm, I'm more like a gamer and my background is more like in marketing but by using the open source software and interactive with the community you can give feedback and help them improve and this is really good your contribution is going to help the project like it's it's actually fun because you are contributing no matter what and on the other hand it's gonna be like really good for people like me who create content to make video like this and trying to help the newcomer i'm feeling like i'm doing my part and it's it's really a wonderful feeling to be part of this like open source system yeah that's pretty dope point number four the Linux desktop experience is improving way faster than I ever thought of. It's just incredible. If you look at all the game I was able to play this last year, it's crazy. Uh, I just like from all my game repository, I have like two or three games I cannot play because of the anti-cheat system and because the uh, game developer didn't want to activate those 
a specific like anti-cheat measure on their hand but most most of the game i like are playable and the pace of those like game being compatible is increasing by the day proton made incredible advances since i started playing to give you an example like i made this crazy tutorial about how to play apex legend on linux and there were a part where you had to make like tedious stuff to get like the game working right off the bat it's about like the compilation of the dxvk shader you had to download them to avoid compiling them on your own machine and it was super tedious like most of the community like found answer to make it work but it was kind of complicated but now the compilation shader has been like integrated like within linux and within proton within the driver you have nothing to do you just like start the game boom shader are being compiled exactly like in windows and you have a really good experience right off the bat this is just awesome and it's just one example i could make like weekly video about all the uh, upgrade and all the advance linux is making it's just like crazy okay and i've been like witnessing them for the last 12 months i'm telling you this is going fast another one i could talk about is the fact that HDR is coming to uh, Linux desktop. It was the thing that like anybody would have thought it would come like that fast. If you asked me like 12 months ago, I would have said, yeah, it's going to be there in three years. Well, guess what? It's, it's already there. So it's still in beta. Um, I would say like state right now. You can't really use it without doing like complicated step to get there, but it's there, which means like maybe two or three months from now, it's going to be pushed everywhere. It's just, it's just insane. Another point is that when you think about Linux gaming, you, you think about Proton and Steam, but the beauty of open source is like every code, every improvement made through Proton because it's based on Wine is actually ported to Wine. And so now all the code that Valve is putting into the mix is available for Wine. And what does it mean? It means like now, even the game which are not working on Steam, like let's say like you want to play a game on the Epic uh, Store, well, you can use Wine and use the improvement made by valve on the, the the epic store which which is just insane i've been playing so many games on the epic store or battle.net for example those last month and they work flawlessly it, it was really really good and you know what else is also becoming bigger by the day the community on this channel we just reached like 5,000 subscribers this week if you want to be part of this don't forget to subscribe become a member or even start to support me on patreon because for me to be able to make those videos i need your support and i want to thank you all the one already around like thank you again i will not have been able to do that without you so thanks guys point number five Hardware choice when you build your PC is really important when you come to Linux. It can become really expensive if you don't know what you are doing. So let me explain. There is a lot of hardware which are not working right off the box. Some will require like manual intervention and over will just not ever work. And most of the time, it is because of the hardware manufacturer and not the Linux developer. It's a complex subject. I should make a video about it. But the idea is like some of the hardware developers, they think the Linux market is just too small and they are not willing to put time and energy for developing a hardware and, and driver. Market is just too small. But I believe like this is changing by the day and a lot of them like start to understand the potential of Linux in the future. To give you an idea, I have like two Avermedia cards, which are like working perfectly on Windows, but Avermedia is not willing to make the drivers there because they, they just want, don't want to. If you put them in a Linux operating system, they will just not work. If you have a lot of material like that, which are like straight, not compatible with Linux, you're going to have a hard time switching or just trying. And you need to be aware of that. It's not Linux fault. It's a manufacturer and market size fault. Point number six. What about the performance? of Linux versus the performance of Windows. Well, Linux is performing better, I would say, from a desktop standpoint. Like if you use if you use Linux, just try it and use it on your desktop, you're going to be mind blown. Like this thing is fast. It makes me believe of, you know, like how it felt when you installed Windows XP for the first time and everything was really snappy. And obviously, like with time, like it will go down on Windows. But on Linux, it doesn't work this way. It feels snappy from the beginning to the end. I've been running like uh, this operating system, like this one, without like reformatting or anything for the last 12 months. And the thing is still snappy as hell. When it comes to gaming, I would say most of the game are around like 5 to 10% under like the performance of Windows. 
for a various amount of reasons. But I would say most of them, they are underperforming by not a lot, but by a little. There is specific scenario where Linux big straight up windows but i would say like those cases are really small versus like the, the overall average and the good news is like there is trick specific to linux that could help increasing the performance on mid and lower machine one big example is, is fsr i won't go too deep into it i'm gonna make a full video about it but fsr is the equivalent of gls for gaming but it has been developed by amg it is open source so even if you have a nvidia card you could use FSR. And the power of Linux there is like you can use FSR on every game, even if they don't support it within the game. So I'm, I'm going to make a tutorial on that. It's pretty easy to set up. It's something you need to think about because if you have a hardware which is like old or just not powerful enough to run like 1440p resolution, for example, well, you could use FSR to maybe lose a little bit of fidelity, but gain so much performance. Uh, when you play a game, it's just crazy. Now, point number seven, your productivity level can be increased to another level on Linux. Let me explain. Linux is highly customizable. When you, you start to put your hand under the hood and you start to understand how it works, oh boy, things are going to be really fast. And when I say really fast, I'm not kidding about it. In terms of maintenance, you might have heard Linux break. You have to reinstall everything. It's, it's bad, it's crazy, you have all, always like problem and stuff, which is like partially true. You can have problem which can break your installation. A little bit like Windows, you know, when you have to reinstall because you installed the wrong software and then now you can uninstall it for whatever reason. It's the same thing with Linux. And during this learning phase, you might have to reinstall like different distro or reinstall your distro because you made something wrong. Okay, why not? I would say on the overall long term, Upgrading your software is really easy compared to Windows. So to give you an idea, when you use a cell phone, you almost like never do like any type of upgrade like you do on Windows. Let's say you use Android, you have your Google Play Store. And from time to time, Google Play Store will just update all your application installed on Android. You have nothing to do, right? The way it works on Linux is exactly the same. You have your package manager. You have to use from time to time, like when you want. You don't have to use it. Actually, you, you do the update whenever you want. You don't have any like win like, you know, Windows update surprise will just pop up on your screen. You choose when you update. The way it works, like, it will not only op update your operating system, but it will update all the software you have installed on your operating system. And, and here, like, again, like, I'm, I'm talking about that, but we are just touching the tip of the iceberg. There is so many other things you can do with Linux. It's just crazy. I, I could make, like, 200 videos about it. So what is the conclusion of this video? So if you watch it until here, I, I want to thank you, okay? I want to say something which is going to be a little bit crazy, but I do believe Linux is the future. It might sound again crazy today, but I can see becoming big because of two reasons. The first one is like for the last 12 months, I've seen Linux improving by the day, by the hour. Valve and the community have done a wonderful job helping Linux to get where it is right now. And I can see they will continue to do so. The acceleration in terms of patch and compatibility is just going through the roof. Pace is incredible. I think in the coming years, we will have a distro supported by Valve that will become more popular because of its ease and like, you know, like Windows type of approach. I, I would be great. And on the other hand, I believe like the user base will soon realize that Windows 11 is not the best option when it comes to, you know, privacy and usability. And, you know, like this alternative called Linux is actually solid and super usable. So guys, what do you think? Are you willing to give it a try? Uh, I will make more videos to help you uh, to set everything up to get the best of your hardware and also like share my, my new experiences. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up. Thanks again for all the support from this channel, YouTube member, and big up to the Patreon team. See you in the next one. Yeah, and also, like, I'm streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. Come say hi, okay? I count on you guys. Bisous, bisous.